Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, today after a long time I could make a new tutorial about Kia V app for you. One of my subscribers asked me if we can animate the text color within the button, if yes, what is the proper way for it. So I decided to explain it in this video to all. Please hit the like now and let's go. First of all we need to import the app class from Kia V app. By importing the app class from the Kia V Frameworks app module, developers can create Kia V applications that inherit from the app class and take advantage of its functionality. Second step we need to import button widget from Kia V.UIX module. The UIX module in Kia V contains a collection of pre-built UI elements, such as buttons, labels, text input fields, and more, that developers can use to build their Kia V applications. Third step we need to import animation class from Kia V. Animation. The animation module in Kia V contains classes and functions for creating and managing animations in Kia V applications. The animation class is one of the classes provided by the Kia V animation module. It provides a way to animate properties of Kia V widgets and graphics over time, such as the position, opacity, or size of a widget. The animation class provides methods for specifying the duration and easing of the animation, as well as callbacks for executing functions at specific points in the animation. By importing the animation class from the Kia V Frameworks animation module, developers can use this class to create animations in their Kia V applications, such as animating the movement of a widget across the screen or the fading of a widget in and out of view. Next step is defining the app class. The app class is a fundamental part of the Kia V framework and is used as the base class for all Kia V applications. It provides a structure and life cycle management for Kia V applications, including methods such as build for building the application's UI and run for running the application. By creating a new class that inherits from the app class, such as my app, developers can customize and extend the functionality of the app class to suit their specific needs. They can define methods and properties in the My App class that will be used to build the user interface and define the behavior of the application. For example, a developer might define a build method in the My App class that creates a box layout widget containing a button widget, and then returns the box layout widget as the root widget of the application. They might also define a on button press method that will be called when the button is clicked, which updates the text of a label widget in the user interface. Once the My App class has been defined, an instance of the class can be created and then run using the run method provided by the app class, such as myapp.run. This will start the key of the application and run it until the user closes the application window or the stop method is called. Now we create a button for our app. The button class has several properties that can be set to customize the appearance and behavior of the button. In this case, the text property is set to the string click me, to specify the label text of the button, and the font underscore size property is set to 20 to specify the font size of the label text. Once the button object has been created, it can be added to a Kyvy widget tree and displayed on the screen. For example, it could be added to a box layout widget and then the box layout widget could be set as the root widget of a Kyvy application. When the user clicks the button, the application can respond by executing a specified function or set of instructions. Next we want to use animation. Two animation objects are created and combined using the plus operator. Each animation object specifies a different value for the color property, which determines the color of the widget being animated. The first animation object sets the color property to 1, 0, 0, 1, which is red, and the second animation object sets the color property to 0, 1, 0, 1, which is green. By combining these two animation objects using the plus operator, a single animation object is created that will animate the color of the widget from red to green over a specified duration and with a specified easing function. Once the anim object has been created, it can be applied to a key of e widget by calling the start method on the widget, passing in the anim object as an argument. This will cause the specified animation to be played on the widget. For example, if button is a button object, button.startAnim would start the animation on the button and we set the repeat property of the animation to true, so that it loops continuously. In Python, the name variable is a special variable that is automatically set to the name of the current module. When a Python module is run as the main program, the name variable is set to the string main. This allows modules to behave differently when they are run as the main program versus when they are imported as a module by another program. In this case, 
The if name equals mainline is a conditional statement that checks whether the current module is being run as the main program. If it is, then the myapp class is instantiated by calling myapp and the run method is called on the instance to start the key of e application. When the run method is called, it starts the main event loop of the key of e application, which waits for user input and updates the UI in response. The run method will continue to run until the user closes the application window or the stop method is called. Putting these two lines of code together allows the key of e application defined in the myapp class to be run when the Python script is executed as the main program but not when it is imported as a module. This is a common pattern in Python for writing modules that can be run as standalone programs as well as imported by other programs. That's all for today. If you have any questions please let me know in the comments. If it was useful to you please like the video and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching my videos. See you in the next videos.